field, home to the Texas A&M Aggies, the Corps Cadets, the world-famous 12th man, Lady Reveille, and from early indications, a whole throng of Aggies ready to make some noise. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Buffaloes will kick it away first. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Aggies offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. He lost one down the sideline. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long. You know a pass is coming. You worked on it all week. Get your feet set at the sticks. Understand that quarterback's got to be rushed. Get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. So Colorado's offense will get the ball for the first time. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. On the ground, it's Hayden. Just slithered through the tackle, and he's got room to run. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. The Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Might as well give it to him again. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying play action. Feeling some heat. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To throw, it's Sanders. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. 
And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Power football with the run. On the move at the 30. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. Hit the afterburners, kid. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Aggie. He would not be denied. When this place gets loud, it starts to sway. They've renovated, reinforced, and still the rafters are shaking. Yeah, and they still come out, and they still got the 12th man tradition. So many traditions at this school, and that's why they support and they love their team, and people want to come play here. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. That one's going to get a little star mark decided on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he's coming out of the end zone. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he had just taken the touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Goodness gracious, if you blinked, you missed it. Horrible blocking up front. Defender gets in there so fast. Did he line up in the backfield? Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Quickly complete. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off cover. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for him. And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. After that last explosive running play, David, why not just try it again, right? I mean, why not? Such a big, long, explosive run. You, you think, Jesse, maybe give it to him again? Or, or do you say, hey, QB? Throw that thing out there. I, I think you keep it on the ground, David. Honestly, I was watching the offensive line. They were fired up after that long touchdown run. You know they just want to go back out there again and get some push. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Makes one man miss. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But... They got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Coming after it. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front.
Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. On the ground, it's Hayden. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. The Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Leaves it with the running back. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. And the Buffaloes will send out the punt unit. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Grabbed in the middle, it's Green. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. Line getting set on second down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Turns it on at midfield. Dances away again. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. To the air, it's Wegman. Fires to the wideout. A strike downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggie. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. Man, we see this in college football, so much explosiveness and firepower, and we get high-scoring game after high-scoring game, and it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 14 0. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26 yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. The quick out. Really good offenses are able to attack short. You've got to be able to attack the whole field to make you honor that underneath part, then the intermediate part, and then you take shots down the field. This will loosen up some shots for later in the game. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. The 
They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches, then. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical, and work on this all week. You know you're going for it on fourth down. Fair catch called for and made. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. They'll go to the ground. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to the back. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Spits it out to the back. Puts it wide on him. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. The Buffaloes are in the hurry up. Quarterback on the keeper. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. When you're a defensive guy and you want to fire in, you want to go hit the quarterback, but you know if I fire in, he's just going to give the football up. you got to be patient. you got to understand what your responsibility is. Then you see when he keeps the football, you got to go tag him. But the problem is these guys are such good athletes. They're so hard to catch once they do pull the football. But it's kind of like the hidden hat trick. You know, where's the ball? It's underneath this one? No, I picked this one up. No, it's gone. It's underneath this one? Nope, there it is. It's gone. Tackled immediately after the catch. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. He's going to pass. He finds his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup.
Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. They'll run it. They'll put the brakes on him at the 21, give him a yard. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll keep it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. On the run, it's Sanders. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. After that incompletion, it's now fourth and short in the red zone. Decision time if you're the head coach. Do you just take the field goal, or do you keep your offense on the field looking to get six? It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the returner is stopped. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. He's looking to throw. Makes a connection. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. They'll leave it with him. Picks up the first down, still moving. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. Foundation of Aggie football built on toughness like that, running it like John David Crow back in the day. And those Texas people are tough and rugged, and, you know, they wear their great outfits that you love to watch. But these, these Aggies, I think they're at their best when they got great running backs. And you've seen Spiller and A-Chain in recent history finding those game breakers, those game busters that can make big plays. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Looking to pass. It's Wegman going for it all. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Well, they decided to get aggressive. That was just third and very manageable. Instead, they saw something, thought they could take a shot, but that's the risk-reward. You don't come up with it. Now you got fourth down. 
Texas A&M will have to boot it away. They'll have to punt for the fourth time today. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Looking to throw on second down. Quick completion on the out. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Picks up just a few before he's brought down, not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Defense going to use a timeout, can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. And the Buffaloes decide to punt it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Offense getting set for first down. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Fires to the big fella. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. And now on second down for this offense. To the air, it's Wegman. Quick strike complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy. And I know I'm going to get contact. You run over the middle of the field on a slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Trying to convert this second and short. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Muhammad. Across the 25. He's got room. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. You no know, long touchdown passes don't have to come in the shape of go routes and posts. You can throw a slant. If your guy is able to make one dude miss and build up some steam, when you've got speed like that, you can take it to the house. And that's exactly what he did. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it a 21-3 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish the drive with a touchdown toss from the 49. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, 
I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Back to pass. It's Sanders. He's got it. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in College Station. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Kyle Field. Texas A&M ready to kick it away to get the third quarter started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Maybe a little too bold on that return as he's out of bounds at the 11. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Complete. Tackle is made at the 22, but a nice 10-yard pickup there. I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. It's complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Up-tempo for the offense. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. It's caught. And he'll be marked down, but he's got enough to move the chains. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Running back searching for a hole. Yeah. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Wide receiver coming across in motion. But jet sweep pass. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Getting some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. The Buffaloes will punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Looking for room, it's Moss. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. How 
nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down. They get him on the ground, but that'll be enough to give Texas A&M a first down. And I know it's not sexy, but those little runs just keep you on your heels, keep the sticks moving, making you understand, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be patient. A lot of offenses aren't patient. They get too play, big play happy, wanting to force the ball down the field. This offense is staying nice and patient right now. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Using the quick game, they'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. And the Aggies look to keep this drive humming. They'll try the run. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, and a great job by the offensive line, seeing the blitz, picking it up, and then it's on the running back. Running back finds the hole, gets a little bit of a crease, makes a nice run at it. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Gets it out quickly. They knock him down at the 40, but he picks up five, and it'll be enough for a first down. The Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give to the lone running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They're going to test the right side with this one. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Trying to put together a long, time-consuming drive. This eighth play will be third and two. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Here comes the field goal unit. And there is a degree of difficulty with this one. A 47-yarder from the right hash. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. Lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably scored pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. 
And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Off play action on first down. Time to take a shot. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. They're trying to get to it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. And this is why this team is losing this game. They cannot protect their quarterback. He's already been sacked a bunch of times. Almost got sacked right there. This guy doesn't have a chance with the way this offensive line is playing. And the Buffaloes line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. David, they had to settle for a field goal last time. Yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive, and we'll see if they can punch it in for six this time. Now on second down. Wants to throw. It's Wegman. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's right on target. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, fine space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Going to take a shot. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. What a dynamic play on that last one. Flips the field, and they've got it first and 10 from the 28. They'll run it from the gun. Runs through the tackle. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter, and they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Operating in the red zone here on second down. On the run, it's Hayden. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone.
They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And he's got it! Touchdown, Bucks! I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point pulls them closer. It's 24 to 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Finds his tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Fighting off the defender. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play in a sack. Well, one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything happen. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The Buffaloes want to move quickly. Wide receiver shows motion. Using his legs, it's Hayden. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Off the play fake. Makes the grab on the left. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and ten. He wants to throw. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And the comeback is on! That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they needed. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. Lining up for the PAT.
And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Got his man quickly. That kind of play will get a drive started or help your field position. They've got it at the 27. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Looking for space, it's Moss. Defense not budging, he's still able to get two to the 29. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They go to the ground. Got the first down and more. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack, it seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Got it. Behind the line, it's Moss. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Here we go. Third down and one. Let's see what you're made of. They want that clock to run. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, th this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through him. Right back to the well. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. The play action fake. Fires to the big fella. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, are just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. Eighth play of the drive coming. It'll be a third and six. To the air. It's Wegman. Looking left. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And the try is no good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss.
Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll crank up this drive with a pass. That's caught. It's Hunter. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. He'll send out five wide receivers on second and four. He's looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Colorado! Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. Lining up to add another. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Smashes through. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Got it in the middle. It's green. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Got like that big, reliable security ball. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Unloads to the right. It's caught. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. It's so important to know where you are in the field. Great job, great hands, great awareness. Make sure you get that grab, possess the ball, and get that foot in bounds. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got him downfield. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give him a first down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. AM comes back out with another first down. The give out of the gun. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the ground with the back. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he's brought down after a nice game. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. They'll try it over the left side. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine.
Win with the running game on first down now back at it. Takes the handoff. It's Moss. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's all tied up. This offensive line, they want the pressure. They want everything to go through them here. They're saying, look, let's just run the ball. Let's get this thing down closer and closer to the goal line. Let's bleed some clock and put ourselves into position to win. And they decide to trot out the kicker. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. They have grabbed the lead in the waning seconds of the game, and they are so, so close to victory. with that late clutch field goal and now to see if they can get a stop and keep them from tying the game in the closing seconds. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. They bring him down a last gasp effort on that return. Comes up empty and that's going to do it for this one.